Pagan portals are short books devoted to a particular topic within paganism. Celtic, Druid, Fairy, Heathen, Witch and Wiccan. Pagan portals cover the entire spectrum. But we are particularly fond of our goddess lists, introducing people to goddesses both popular and less well known. So here are 7 pagan portals dedicated to the goddess. Number 1. Aphrodite by Iris Anya Moon Aphrodite is often a misunderstood goddess, one who is easy to relegate to the love goddess role. But she is a goddess who also shows up as an initiator, and some might say, troublemaker. In this book, we seek to explore the complexity of a goddess who was born on sea foam, and who inspires beauty and love, all while offering a hand toward each one of us to celebrate our full hearts. Arizanya Moon's passion and knowledge of Aphrodite shines through in this book, which is a beautiful collection of compelling personal stories, research, and hands-on tools. This book shows us that the Greek goddess of love is far more multifaceted than she is typically made out to be. The author provides the reader with a multitude of techniques for getting to know Aphrodite better, including methods for writing, personal devotional charts, altar and offering ideas, and powerful immersive exercises. This book is a treasure for both long-time Aphrodite devotees and those just beginning to hear the call of the goddess of love. Number 2. Baba Yaga by Natalia Clark in this introductory work, Baba Yaga is redefined outside of the dogmatic portrayals and becomes one of the most powerful and influential figures in an individual spiritual practice. An accessible guide building towards a devotional practice, this book is a journey of discovery and collaboration with deity, written to aid your own psycho-spiritual progression and offer a unique presentation of how we might work with the goddess psychologically and spiritually. This is an impressive work, clearly written, exploring Baba Yaga as earth goddess and laying out what an apprenticeship with her might look like. In a culture that tends to categorise everything, emotions, actions, people, as either wholly good or wholly bad, this book brings some much needed nuance and an exploration of healthy darkness through this fantastic and visceral deity. Number 3. Hecate by Viv Moss, the goddess of witches queen of shades and shadows, and the ever-eternal dark muse, Hecate, fair queen of the Shadowlands, haunts the pages of this poetic devotional, enchanting those who love her with the charm only this dark goddess can bring. Join the journey as we meet Hecate, queen of sorcery in the realms of dream and enchantment, weaving magic through the worlds, seen and unseen. We take flight to the land eternal, in this part devotional, part grimoire, and learn how to venerate this great goddess of antiquity and connect with the spirits of the Shadowlands. As inherently fascinating as it is informed and informative throughout, this book will prove to be an enduringly valued, reader-friendly and enduringly popular addition to any personal, community or academics library metaphysical studies reference collection. Number 4. Isis by Olivia Church Isis has a history spanning millennia and an influence stretching across land and sea. She is a goddess who transcends time and geography, remaining as one of the most popular goddesses from the ancient world to this day. This book explores Isis's mythic journey and how she became the goddess we recognize today. Striking the balance between the old and the new, Olivia Church provides a historical account of Isis's mythology and worship alongside contemporary pagan perspectives. This book aims to offer the readers the tools for Isis's contemporary veneration. Thanks to the research of dedicated scholars of ancient Egypt and Mediterranean religion and culture, Olivia's knowledge on ancient Egypt and its mythology comes in second only to her passion for the subject, which the reader can almost taste as they digest her words. Intellectual, educational and exquisitely presented. Number 5. Persephone by Robin Korak Working with the Greek goddess Persephone can help us to reacquaint ourselves with our personal power and re-vision the course of our lives. This book begins with a look at various retellings and interpretations of Persephone's myth as well as introducing the reader to the Eleusian mysteries. The book then helps the reader to explore various themes and lessons inherent with Persephone's myth, such as the cyclical power of descent and ascent to peel away the layers of our shadow and emerge into the light of our own power, the art of discernment and Persephone's role as a psychopomp, guiding us through our own inner darkness and helping us to access ancestral wisdom. Each chapter provides the reader with activities for deeper connection and exploration, such as journal questions, guided meditations, rituals, and or recipes for incense, oils, and food which align with Persephone. 
The book concludes with a final chapter which provides the reader with tips of how they can incorporate working with Persephone into a simple daily spiritual practice. Number 6. The Morrigan by Morgan Daimler On shadowed wings and in raven's cool, meet the ancient Irish goddess of war, battle, prophecy, death, sovereignty and magic. This book is an introduction to the Morrigan and several related goddesses who share the title, including Vibe and Makla. It combines solid academic information with personal experience in a way that is intended to dispel the confusion that often surrounds who this goddess was and is. The Morrigan is as active in the world today as she ever was in the past, but answering her call means answering the challenge of finding her history and myth in the sea of misinformation, superstition, and hard to find ancient texts. Here in one place, all of her basic information has been collected along with personal experiences and advice from a long time pre priestess dedicated to the goddess who bears the name Morrigan. Morgan presents us with solid, well-researched information on the Irish Morrigans from some of the best academic sources out there, and does it in a way that is engaging and approachable. Number 7. Rhiannon by Jenna Tellendrew To truly know Rhiannon, we must excavate the layers of her myth, decode the meaning of her symbols, and seek to restore the significance of her very name. Although she has a mythology around her and has many modern day devotees, nowhere in ancient lore has she been identified as a goddess. We have no known cult centers or devotional altars dedicated to Rhiannon. How do we then approach this revered lady? How can we best know her as a goddess? We need but call to her and ask for what we need. Be it her bag of plenty, the soul healing song of her birds, or the empowerment of the sovereignty she holds. When you call to Rhiannon, the divine queen of the Britons, know that she will stop and know that she will answer your call. Sophisticated and elegant, steeped in scholarship and passionately written, Telendrew's offering to Rhiannon will take you on a journey deep into the heart of mystery, sovereignty and connection. Within these pages, you will discover the tools necessary to develop a lasting and meaningful relationship with Rhiannon. To connect to the Divine Queen, we must ask her to stop and notice us. Telendrew offers you a guiding hand to understand this process and move into relationship with the Goddess. And that's our list. We hope this helps to inspire you to continue your study into the many goddesses that we have in our world. Drop us a comment down below telling us which goddess inspires you the most and make sure you subscribe for more. And as always, have a nice day.